going to be walking up to the castle. This is the dogwood season, and as you can see, they are all in bloom. This is the dogwood as we are walking up towards the castle. In the woods, you can see the different trees that are in bloom. This is Wilson holding the dogwood. I'm going to bring it in so that you can see how pretty they are. And this is the white. And there he is, just gazing around. Okay, here's... We're coming at it from a different angle than we did the last time we were here. This is kind of the back. Uh, ha ha tonka a castle or was that one time or might be a bad angle for the sun but this is where we are they have changed this uh, way of getting in here since we were here last that was the carriage house just before that and this is the castle and we'll go up and see it. It's pretty foggy. I'm sure we're going to be able to get some of it though. And this is what the river looks like today. Okay, okay we're looking over the edge of the lookout. That's the river down there. Let's see if I can pull it in where we can. Probably here in the falls or something. And of course, this is dogwood season. And everywhere you look, there's dogwoods around here. That was the carriage house back there. So this is this is the castle. Into the castle. It looks like they've did more on the wall. They're restoring it with the original stone. They used to go through it with the horses and let you off. Kind of down a little bit low here, but this is what you get. Okay, this is self-explanatory. Quarry site is down below, directly out in front of us. And here's the type of cart that they used to put the rock on and pulled it up this hill. Boat docks on the lake, three quarters of a mile down. They've cleaned it up a whole lot and built a lot more on it since we were here a year or so ago. I guess two years ago. Because you can see they've got a lookout. They've got a sign here you can't get up there anymore by the castle. But this is right on the cliff overlooking the Osage River. And this is the way it looks looking down. On a foggy morning. Yeah. You can see uh, all those dogwoods down there. I'm going to pull this little ripple in the best I can. I'm looking almost straight down, about not more than about 10 degrees. And there is some dogwood down there. Dogwood everywhere this time of the year. Just get a little bit of the landscape here. Whoops. This is how sheer this drops off right into the river. Right straight out in front of me. Head on shot of the castle. Yeah, 
And as I said before, they're rebuilding it with the stone, original stone that they find around here. Should make a pretty nice shot. The sun's beginning to come through the fog. Down the path, I'm gonna I just turn around, I'm gonna take one more shot back. This is where the carriages came through to let the people out. This was one man's dream, is the way they stated on the billboard. This is the path alongside. Now we're going to go back towards the car. They put a new path up here since we've been here. This is the old path, but we'll connect with the new one down here. And that's Mary. This is the new walking path that comes up in the middle. And uh, not exaggerating a bit, this is the grade that it's on. And those are, there are those dogwood, but the sun's shining on them now. And this is the hill we walked up to get to the castle. The guy designs these, designs them for kids, I can tell you that. A few more of these dogwood. Or try to. They're all through here. This is dogwood festival up here at the, well, they call it Lake of the Ozark region. This is at Camden. And the sun's shining on these dogwood. I just thought maybe I'd get a pan of those. This goes right down alongside the river. This is uh, looking off over the valley. And there's a, evidently there's a trail down there of some kind on the other side. This is the water tower. There was a large steel barrel up there, but they're probably rebuilding the tower and they have taken it down. The water gets up here from a water-powered pump down to the bottom of the hill and down stream from here and it pumps it all the way up here. It's water-powered, or was, with a paddle wheel. And this water in turn went back into the ground and went all the way over, which is a long way, back over in here is uh, where the castle is. This, this again is just looking across the valley and look at all the dogwood. This is dogwood season. Airplane going overhead. This just goes around the top edge of the rim or close to the top edge of the rim. About a half a mile long. Rock. Yeah, this is dogwoods on the other side of the canyon. And just to show you how deep this canyon is, I'll look down. The river's down in there. Yeah, you can just barely see it. See this? Either that or I'm imagining it's there. It's there. See, there's some more of those red flowers. So I We're getting a, another view of this, how far down it is. And dogwoods. I think this part is new. 
the way it travels down through here. Holding on this. I don't know really where it goes. Well, it starts climbing up. Yeah. Up the other hill someplace. And it might be a continuation of what I took a while ago. Tree. Oh, yeah. there she is. Of course, you can't see her for the wood. Yeah, Sophie's right there, I think, if you can pick out the yellow. And the water tire. Now, I got pictures where there was a big, gigantic steel drum on top of that, but apparently they're rebuilding it. Yeah, the fog uh, has lifted a little bit. Now we can see one arm of the lake. I don't know what the arm they call it, but we're standing on one of the overlooks. And I just seen a color spectrum go by. Sun got me. And this is going about to do it. I'm sure that's the post office over there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was and a there's the water tower. As I said before, the iron tank has gone off the top of it. Looks like they're rebuilding it. Looks like new mortar in the... So this is going to about do it for Tonka. Ha ha Tonka here. This time anyway. This parking area descending to the valley floor. The trail passes beneath the natural bridge, makes its way along the hillside, climbing to the river rim above the spring and whispering dell, and then returns to the starting point by crossing over the natural bridge. The trail marked by yellow arrows in a clockwise direction provides a height of moderate difficulty. Here is the natural bridge. You're supposed to go under here and then go up the other side. Okay, let's try it then. Mary going under the natural bridge and you go around and we end up coming back over the top of it, I believe. We'll see as it goes. Looking up at it. We'll make our way through. Trail's marked out by little arrows, so. Yeah, we're under the natural bridge now. And like you have any time you're below ground in rock, you got water dripping. Flowers. Can you get the picture? You gotta get them yellow flowers. And there's more of them up here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them right here. We're down in the valley. And here's a stairwell. Start taking this up, I guess. And I wanted to get This water coming through this rock constantly, just dripping down. We're down in the valley. That's the path we're coming up. Along about halfway up this valley. The valley's down there. This is a sheer cliff right alongside of us here. We're looking down the path we just came up. We're not to the top yet, but I'm going to swing around. 
and look what we got to go yet. That looks like the top, right? Right there. Then if the instructions are right, we'll go back over to the natural bridge and back to the car. We're looking down the path, we went a little further, and here's some dogwood with the sun shining on them. And you can Okay, we're on the other side of the river, and there is the castle. I'll bring it in, and I'll back it out so you can see the sheer drop right in front of it, down into the bottom. And there it is. I'll get real close. That's as far in as it'll go. It looks a lot better than the last time we've seen it, I tell you. Guess of Camden, I don't know just what it is. And you can hear the water rushing over the falls down there. There's a, a better view of the castle. And that's the overlook. You see those people on. Now I'm going to back away. I'm going to go down and pan the river. Here's the falls. <coughs> now according to the pamphlet, they had a water pard water pump in that area that used to pump the water up to the water tire you seen a while ago and then the gravity from the water tire pushed it over to this castle I can't see the castle from I mean the water tire from here go along here and through the trees Through the trees, you can see the water tower. And I'll get a better picture of it up the way, probably. And this is a another view of the castle from another point down. And this is a sheer drop. Right down into the river. And there's the waterfall. And that's Camden. Okay. Attention, this is the scenic but strenuous portion of Del Rim Trail. It descends approximately 200 feet using 316 stairs. Only persons in good physical condition should use. That's that. Well, I probably could make it down, but I making it back, make it back making it back up. Now I'm going to pan across the river. And this is, there's the tower. And here's the walk we went down a while ago. You can see some people on it. And there's the castle. This part, well, this part's under construction. We took this from the other side. Over in the area of the springs, which we're going to walk up to get. That's where the river, that little river comes out that, that was up there by the castle. The castle is up on that hill. I think I can probably bring it in. Yeah, there's the castle. 
And this that sits right on top of this cliff. Now I'm just going to swing around. This is a tip end of the lake. And this is Hahatanka Springs. Yeah, there it is, and right through them trees is the water tower. And that water falls over there is the one that used to run the pump, or the, there's another one on there. That's where the uh, water wheel used to be to run the pump. Ran the pump that pumped the water up to there, and there used to be a tank reservoir on top which they've taken down now. Okay, this trail is given in memory of Leroy J. Snyder, who completed the Ha Ha Tonka Castle and surrounding buildings after the death of his father, Robert M. Snyder, Sr the first to envision these stately structures and initial their construction. This is how the castle looked before it was destroyed by fire and vandalism. Ready? Yeah. Ha Ha Tonka Springs. The spring at the base of the bluff in front of you shows an average of 48 million gallons a day and comes from as far as away as 18 miles. Because the water stays a constant 56 degree year round, it allows the growth of large beds of underwater plants, such as watercress and coontail. The depth of the spring branch varies from 3 to 15 feet. Okay. Come back down this way to get to the car. Yeah, we were never this close to the spring before. Yeah, this is the spring where it comes out. And this is the stairs that they referred to a while ago about don't go down unless you're in good condition. So we drove around and looked at it from the bottom. This is new, this wasn't here before. Uh, I didn't see very much of it then. We were somewhere, we were the Chief Castle, and we didn't have a trail there. We were way right back in the 60s. Yeah, we're getting a look around here. Water's really moving. Here's the, the castle once more. Where it is. I'm going to swing around and get a picture of where the spring is. Right through them trees. That's where it comes out. And you can see it moving pretty good. And there is the lookout. And that's an island there, believe it or not. If you look at it, you can see that the water goes both ways. This should about do it for Ha Ha Tonka this time. Beautiful. They have really improved us since we were here last. Here comes. And don't tell me walking in Crestwood Mall hasn't helped this. This is a little better shot of the where the spring comes out. <laughs> 